friends uh, today we are moving on to day 4 uh, of our two week fdp revision program on uh, nac awareness uh, and revised accreditation framework for uh, autonomous institution which is organized by uh, iqac dandras bay jain college so criteria 2 we are going to discuss today uh, criteria 2 deals with uh, teaching learning and evaluation and uh, which carries uh, 300 uh, points so in production uh, as the title says uh, teaching learning and uh, evaluation uh, how far the uh, teaching methodology adopted by the colleges the learning phase how far it is interactive instructional techniques like in the sense uh, various uh, techniques uh, group discussions uh, debates Uh, like the tool by way of conducting a seminars to the students internship programs uh, and how far the ict uh, which is uh, used by the uh, teachers and finally the evaluation process uh, how far the evaluation uh, process done uh, what could be their internal and external marks how it is been uh, carried forward by the institution so these are the uh, various seven uh, key indicators of uh, this uh, teaching learning and evaluation and we are going to see uh, all such uh, key indicators in the upcoming slides so the first one is student enrollment and profile uh, which carries 20 points uh, so which the first point is 2.1.1 number of students admitted year wise during the last 5 years and number of sanctioned seats year wise during the last year so uh, like as we right now we are having this enterprise resource planning erp i suggest the institution to go for uh, online application rather than hard copy and uh, uh, because you know like uh, currently we are maintaining the uh, application form in a in a in a long size note writing the application number uh, student name uh, and the contact number uh, and the amount that which we are collecting so rather than uh, hard copy Uh, we can go for this uh, you place this uh, online erp so that you can retrieve at any time and uh, you can also easily scrutinize uh, the number of application received for each and every uh, program say for example for bcom general uh, for 140 seats how many applications has received so like that uh, easily we can retrieve it from uh, erp so that is where the uh, proof uh, document uh, Uh, which is very much uh, important and uh, the university uh, uh, approval copy for the number of uh, seats for the particular program need to be uploaded in uh, uh, ssr report so during uh, the validation part uh, they may ask for uh, uh, not the documentation so these are the important uh, documents where we need to keep it ready and this is the quantifiable information where we need to give the numbers say for example number of application received for bcom say 1000 uh, against uh, there is uh, 70 seats we have received 1000 so where we will get more number of uh, weightage will be given uh, if we have received more number of application against the section seats so under uh, 2.1 uh, the next uh, 10 points for 2.1.2 Uh, this is uh, nothing but the number of seats filled against uh, the total seats for sc st obc divyang jan so uh, we i think everyone uh, the head of the department will be knowing how far the uh, uh, ranking to be done um, that is only for uh, shift 1 session shift 2 i think we don't have uh, specified uh, uh, no like uh, reservation so for self financing i hope there won't be any problem uh, so like number of seats uh, Uh, and uh, how far you are categorizing it need to be updated clearly and uh, what is your admission procedures what are all the documents that you are going to collect it and particularly you need to collect the community certificate from the students and uh, in case of uh, divyang jan any physically uh, challenged students they have to show the uh, certificates uh, how much the percentage certificates of uh, affected uh, a percentage need to be uh, given uh, so all such things ca carry as a proof uh, document need to be submitted to the nac uh, in ssr report so this comes a 2.2 uh, catering uh, catering to students diversity uh, 
uh, which carries 30 points in that uh, 15 points goes to the institution assesses the learning levels of the students and organizes special programs for advanced learners and slow learners which carries 15 points and this is the uh, qualitative in nature you have to give the description part that is as per the concept no student left behind they call it as nslb no student left behind so what is the initiatives that you are taking for uh, slow learners what is the initiative that you are taken for advanced learners so those kind of uh, remedial uh, for slow learners what kind of special classes what kind of uh, remedial classes counseling that you have given all such things need to be documented appropriately and uh, for advanced learners fast learners what kind of uh, like you know like uh, uh, advanced learners you can what kind of motivational given to them and all such things need to be documented appropriately and this is something a uh, qualitative you have to uh, give 500 words description part and uh, the next 15 points goes to student full time teaching ratio and again uh, this is really very tough for arts and science college because uh, you know like uh, 1 is to 20 is the ratio given by UGC uh, for uh, there is 20 students one teacher and uh, I think uh, if we calculate in uh, if we cal calculate in our college uh, it might be something around 1 is to 40 so like uh, where uh, need to concentrate on this point as well and uh, here very importantly um, all the faculty are will be considered as a mentors even the head of the institution they can also have the uh, uh, students uh, under them and uh, part time faculty should not be accounted for this purpose and uh, for example guest lectures and uh, visiting faculty they will not be uh, considered as a full time teacher so that need to be very careful on this uh, student teacher uh, full time ratio so next uh, key indicator is uh, 2.3 teaching learning process which carries 50 points so in which uh, the 2.3.1 student centric methods such as experimental learning participatory learning and problem solving methodologies are used for enhancing learning experience which carries 15 points and this is uh, uh, qualitative in nature you have to give uh, a description uh, 500 words description um, so as you all know like uh, like the traditional method of learning uh, like taking a book and writing the notes in the board uh, that is not required in the recent uh, modern teaching of methodology so how far you are uh, uh, your method of teaching uh, uh, described are like you can uh, uh, newspaper discussion you can uh, give the real time uh, case studies to the students and you can also take this covid 19 lockdown so after this uh, covid 19 lockdown what could happen for the industry like uh, they can take any industry in the sense agriculture or automobile industry or anything any industry they can take and uh, they can uh, write their own uh, um, uh, feedback about uh, uh, report on uh, uh, market research and uh, you can also have the poster designing so there are a lot of things uh, there uh, to for this method of uh, learning so participatory learning it's uh, i think interactive uh, you should have a, a classroom seminars a topic will be given to the students and most of the uh, programs are also having this project works you can take the students for a field visit, industrial visit and also through various clubs they can also be educated. So problem solving skills uh, like uh, as I said is an industrial issues, uh, practical uh, issues to be given to the students and what is the decision that has been taken by the students. So all such things need to be uh, you know like uh, given in a descriptive part and uh, whatever the description that you are giving like if I say I, I'm, I, have, I have given uh, uh, 10 reports uh, to my students on preparation of this uh, COVID-19 industrial uh, uh, perception. So uh, you should have that all 10 reports and uh, that has to be documented appropriately. So whatever uh, you are uh, 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 giving uh, as a description, you should have a documentation, proper documentation on that. So the next uh, 
uh, 2.3.2 is teachers using ICT enabled tools for effective teaching learning process. And I hope uh, this COVID-19 uh, is uh, given an experience to use uh, how to use this uh, online platform like uh, Zoom app or Cisco or uh, Skype. Uh, a lot of uh, online webinars are there. And I hope uh, the faculty is also teaching the students through these uh, applications. And uh, previously we used to um, prepare a PPT and also notes to be sent to the students uh, email ID. And we have also using this WhatsApp to sharing uh, our knowledge and expertise. So uh, again, this is a uh, qualitative in nature. Uh, you have to give a description and again, uh, you have to have a proper documentation and uh, whatever the snapshot that you have taken during this COVID-19 like the photos please uh, keep it keep it as a safe and after the lockdown kindly hand over to IQAC team so that it can be documented appropriately. So 2.3.3 uh, ratio of students to mentor for academic and other related issues. Uh, this data for the latest completed academic year alone is sufficient. So uh, like the recent academic year, uh, not all the five years is required. This is again, uh, you have to give it in a quantitative nature, you have to give it in a numbers. So here the questions will be asked total number of students enrolled during the particular academic year, a number of uh, full-time teachers. So as I said, only the full-time teachers can be considered as a uh, mentors, mentee, mentors. Mm, so document uh, circulars pertaining to assigning mentors. So that should be a proper document. So if say if I am uh, allocated with the 20, 25 students, it should have a proper documented document which is signed by the head of the institution, by the IQAC team. Uh, so everything need to be properly uh, accountable, uh, account, uh, sorry, filed. Uh, students counseling record book. So I think uh, we don't have this uh, student counseling record book. Again, uh, NAC is insisting on this uh, student counseling record book, uh, which is nothing but uh, you have the students' uh, personal details, their name, contact number, photo, and which course he has joined. And um, after that, uh, what is the marks that they have obtained, uh, internal marks uh, and uh, in external marks, all such six semesters marks will be given and uh, whether the student have participated in any of the program, those details need to be updated in that book. And uh, if any of the student went for um, competition events or placement, uh, all such things need to be updated. And very importantly, before going to an examination, that is semester examination, the con concerned mentor has to meet the uh, mentee, that is the students, and he or she has to be counseled properly. That is uh, the area of improvisation. If it is uh, like uh, based on the slow learners or advanced learners, you have to motivate them, you have to encourage them to move on to the next slab. So what is the counseling that you have given need to be recorded in this student counseling record book and uh, uh, which talks about the entire student's history. So I hope uh, I request the uh, uh, like IQAC uh, coordinator and his team to uh, prepare the students counseling record book uh, which is very important uh, for uh, this kind of uh, teaching learning evaluation process which helps a lot. So 2.3.4 preparation and adherence of academic calendar and teaching plans by the institution. I hope uh, uh, in, we have our calendar proper uh, academic calendar is there and everything has been posted over there, like uh, when is their exam, when the student has to pay the fee. And uh, as well, uh, you all uh, uh, right now experiencing this uh, work diary as well. So we are writing uh, what is our future uh, syllabus. Uh, you are, we are writing the syllabus and what to be taken and uh, what are all the classes that we have taken every day. And everything has been uh, recorded appropriately. So uh, this is uh, again, this is the qualitative in nature. You have to write description part in 500 words. So next moving on to 2.4. Teacher profile and quality uh, carries 50 points. So average percentage of full-time teachers against sanction post during the last five years. 
So in this institution must uh, ensure that uh, the sanction posts are appointed on a timely uh, manner. They should avoid this black backlogs. Uh, department wise uh, list to, to be prepared. And uh, when you enter the data, this is a quantitative information. You have to enter the department wise uh, teachers data with their PAN number. What is their designation when they have got appointed and what is their experience? All such things need to be updated. Uh, you have a separate Excel sheet which need to be updated. And uh, when it comes for verification, they may ask for appointment letters uh, of the uh, teachers. So this uh, we have 15 points and uh, very importantly, um, if uh, the particular department uh, should have uh, six uh, vacancy, all such six vacancies need to be fulfilled by the institution to get a very good score. So 2.4.2, 20 marks which carries, uh, which represents how many teachers are holding with PhD and DLIT or uh, doctorate in science as well. So how many teachers uh, uh, completed the PhD? Uh, like we don't have this DM, MCH, DNP super specialty that is applicable for the science stream, uh, medical related aspects. And DSC, I think, uh, doctorate in science and uh, deal it is uh, postdoctoral. No, like uh, honorary doctorates uh, will not be considered here. Um, so this carries 20 points. So 2.4.3 uh, average teaching experience of full time teachers in the same institution. Uh, data for the latest completed academic year in the number of years. So latest completed academic year alone is sufficient. This is a quantitative information. You have to give the numbers. So how many faculties uh, are working? Uh, uh, what is their date of appointment? Uh, their name uh, and which department? Their attendance, uh, their acquaintance register, their joining reports, all such things need to be uh, properly recorded uh, by the uh, office people. Um, so work experience of another institution not to be considered here. So because uh, the question itself we can see in the same institution that uh, in DBJ in college uh, how many staffs uh, are working and their experience in at DBJ in college alone need to be recorded here. So next moving on to 2.5, it's evaluation process and reforms, uh, which carries 50 points. So 2.5.1, average number of uh, days from the date of last semester end of year and examination till the declaration of results, which carries 20 points. So uh, the number of days taken uh, for uh, you know, announcing the results, uh, this is uh, quantifiable information where you need to give the numbers. So documentary evidence of academic uh, sessions, academic year plan are signed by the competent authority. So academic plan sessions that when the uh, exam started and when the exams uh, results has been announced and uh, it should be properly documented and it should be generally um, the controller of examination, uh, they will prepare a report and same will be handed over to the uh, University of Madras, I hope. So such things, such reports need to be uh, recorded appropriately by the institution you know, to uh, whenever the DVB partner, may, they may ask for uh, uh, verification purpose. So at the time we need to submit these type of documents. So 2.5.2 uh, average percentage of student complaints and grievances about evaluation against the total number appeared in the examination. So which carries 15 points. So any revaluation, re uh, uh, appears, right? Uh, like after the examination, uh, the students may go for revaluation, re totaling. And uh, such things need to be updated. And again, which is uh, uh, quantifiable information. And uh, again, this uh, generally, I hope uh, this also need to be appropriated uh, meeting to be convened and the proper minutes to be uh, taken by the COE office. So 2.5.3 IT integration and reforms in the examination procedures and processes, including continuous as internal assessment have brought in considerable improvement in the examination management system of the institution. So this is uh, qualitative information. You have to give a description part. I hope uh, 100 percentage uh, uh, 
like you know automation has been done in in case of coe office because starting from uh, uh, issuing the application collecting the fees uh, and uh, declaring the results everything which all done through automation part so those uh, procedures uh, need to be properly uh, prepared by the controller of examination and it should be keep it ready by the uh, uh, coe for uh, any uh, um, uh, dvv uh, partner they may ask for uh, uh, proof of document so 2.6.1 uh, uh, this is uh, student performance and learning outcome so program outcome course outcome for all the programs offered by the institution are stated and displayed on website and communicated to teachers and students so uh, i hope uh, like uh, in our website uh, in our recent in our previous nac creation process uh, we have updated all our course outcome and all the program outcome has been updated in the college website any student or any uh, the teachers they can go and see what is the course outcome that is in the sense it's a subject outcome and what is the program outcome what is the program specific outcome all such things are uh, communicated i hope and uh, need to be uh, given a, a orientation program for the students as well the concerned respective head of the department can take this as a initiative to conduct to share uh, their expertise on this program outcome program specific outcome and course outcome and apart from that the attainment level is very important so uh, all such things are bloom's taxonomy and uh, you have a separate topic on that i am not going to uh, discuss uh, that one over here so as i said the attainment level uh, how you are uh, uh, calculating your internal assignment uh, mark you have i think 25 marks how you are giving this 25 marks uh, on which uh, uh, criteria you are giving this 25 marks so all such things uh, need to be uh, properly uh, uh, given in a policy it's a kind of a procedural uh, policy need to be updated so you can see here internal assessment is a requirement of the continuous assessment and essential for the fulfillment of cos and pos and each and every unit you should have this uh, attainment level uh, it is not the entire uh, subject each and every unit whether the concerned student have attained it or not so i hope uh, the engineering college in mnm they are following this method i hope i request uh, uh, arts and science college also need to follow this attainment level in a, at least in the next two years of the time we need to follow this uh, attainment level unit wise attainment level so as i said uh, the 25 marks can be uh, segregated on unit test uh, field survey project report seminars assignment uh, and also with other activities uh, the participation in various club activities um like nss and ncc rrc and uh, it can also be uh, obtained through the feedback from the alumni employer uh, parent uh, program exit survey that is uh, how far uh, uh, they have learned this attainment level so 2.6.3 average pass percentage of students uh, again this is uh, quantitative information for the latest completed academic year alone is sufficient as i said generally the controller of examination uh, prepares a report and hand over to the university of madras so those report need to be uh, uh, documented and they should be certified by the controller of examination indicating the pass percentage of the final year final semester program wise and year wise alone is sufficient so only the current final year uh, data alone is sufficient previously what happened is every semester all the five years every year you have two semester all such uh, results uh, copy need to be uploaded in uh, ssr but now uh, what happened is uh, they are uh, requesting for us to submit only the final year final semester uh, uh, subject uh, uh, there is pass percentage alone is sufficient so finally we are moving on to the last uh, key indicator 2.7 student satisfaction survey which carries 50 so online student satisfaction survey it's totally 15 points and uh, 
it is one of the process of uh, SSR, SSR uh, self study report uh, and after submitting this SSR uh, parallelly the uh, NAC team uh, they circulate uh, the questionnaire to the uh, students email ID so for which we need to submit uh, the database of our student uh, their student name uh, gender email ID program name and their register number their mobile number the year of joining all such data uh, need to be retrieved and it's we uh, since we have ERP you can easily retrieve the information from ERP and you can uh, make it as an one excel file can be shared with uh, NAC and uh, the uh, self student satisfaction survey which consists of 20 objective and one subjective questions and um, what they are expecting is out of uh, total population like in the sense in our college we'll be having some um, 3000 strength a uh, 10 percentage of that or 100 which is less so they uh, randomly choose the student and they will send it across to them so when it comes for this survey insist uh, students to take this survey and uh, this will be uh, completed within one month after uh, you are submitting your SSR report and you can also view this uh, questionnaire uh, I can share this questionnaire uh, through uh, WhatsApp or uh, through by way of uh, like our Google Classroom so any uh, question uh, you can uh, post your questions to, through Cla Google Classroom or uh, WhatsApp, whichever is convenient mode. And you can also give me a call as well. I am ready to answer. And uh, if you have any questions or any uh, concerns uh, or any suggestions, so that I can also, uh, you know, like uh, I can change my uh, teaching uh, methodology as well. So any question, please let me know and uh, write to me. Uh, so that it should be an interactive session.